Hello everybody, this is Excel video 297. Welcome back. I'm recording this video right before I leave to speak for Virginia MGMA. We're doing two sessions on the basics of Excel and two more sessions on pivot tables. If I haven't spoken to your organization lately, I'd love to. What we're going to do today is play a little bit more with grouping. We're familiar with how to group things and how to ungroup, how to change these uh, group headings so we get a little better description than group one. Now that we're familiar with that, let me show you something easy to make this grouping a little more powerful. Let's say tomorrow morning you're meeting with the PCPs and you don't necessarily want to get distracted or show the detail of what the orthopedic surgeons are doing, what the cardiologists are doing. So we're just going to click those minus buttons and what we're doing is collapsing the detail. So you don't have to show everything. You can, with the click of a button, you can collapse or expand whatever detail you want. Maybe you take this into the meeting and the board says, ah, we want to understand cardiology, no problem. We'll click there and show you the detail. That's the first thing I wanted to show you. If you don't like the plus and minus thing, you say, hey, you know, it kind of clutters up my screen or I don't want to necessarily remind people they can see the detail for whatever reason. Another way to do it, let's collapse all these, is to do this. From Pivot Table Tools and Options, I'm going to click the plus minus buttons right there. Now the plus and minus go away, but double click any place in the cell that has the title in it. Whoops, there we go. We'll expand and collapse. It just double clicks, and if it's expanded, it collapses. If it's collapsed, it expands. You can do it either way, and we'll put those plus or minus buttons back. But that's the second thing I wanted to show you. Third thing is, all right, Nate, that's great, but what if I have 30 groups or 50 groups? I don't want to be double clicking or doing the plus minus thing all day. Do you have a shortcut for me? And the answer is the good people at Excel do. Under here, normally this expands out a little wider, but uh, the way I've got it, my screen set up today, you have to click once to see expand entire field with the green plus or collapse entire field with the red minus. And watch what plus will do. It expands everybody. And minus will collapse everybody. So if you've got a big long group of 30 of these, don't be plus, 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 plus. Just come over to expand everybody or collapse everybody and you've got all the information you need at your fingertips. Those are the three ways I wanted to show you today on collapsing and expanding groups. We are through uh, filtering and sorting. We're through pivoting and grouping. We're pretty handy with pivot tables now. Where I want to go next is calculations within pivot tables. There's a number of different ways you can do calculations in pivot tables. We'll start that discussion next time. Thanks for watching.